Hello guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. Today I have a special video of I Show Speed, a famous YouTuber who denies Jesus in front of everyone. And then this happens. Let's jump straight into the video and watch. Like I'm about to go see my idol, bro. Like I'm about to see the like I'm about to go see the person that I love the most, bro. Like I'm about to go see the person that I look up to every day. I'm about to go see the person that I watch his highlights every day, bro. Christian freaking Ronaldo, bro. No evolutionist can tell us why there are still monkeys today if we evolved from monkeys. Why are there still monkeys today? No, no, you're not. You just called me a monkey. Charles Darwin says you're a monkey. What? Charles, I'm a monkey. Charles Darwin calls you a monkey. Charles Darwin says that. Are you serious right now? Charles oh Darwin. shit. <laughs> I want to ask you. I want to ask you something, man. Yeah, ask me something. Cause I watch your videos, man. I actually made a. I made a review of one of your videos. All right, what is it? So um, I forgot what it's called, but you made a video. I want. I want to know, man. Are you gay? Gay, bro. Only for Ronaldo. All right, all right. Come, come, come. Listen, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that for a second. Hold, hold. I want to ask you something, man. Listen, man. I know your father is a Christian. Okay. Are you a Christian? Am I a Christian? Okay. See, that's a very, you know, great question, you know what I'm saying? But let me ask you this, okay? No, no, no. no. Answer the question first. It's okay. a great question, a question because a Christian is someone that's repentant of their sins, why you always that doesn't support sexual immorality, that's not walking for fame, but living for Jesus. Someone who's denied themselves, pick up their cross daily and follow me. I'm not against you trying to make money okay, or right, making right, good right, music, okay. but if you're a Christian, you need to repent of your sins. Otherwise, just like any person here, not just you, you hey, need, okay, you'll find right. yourself in hell. All right, okay, all the way. So are you a hey, Christian? Hey, let me talk. All right. Are you a Christian? Okay, first of all, I came here to see Ronaldo. I'm in Manchester right now. You're asking me questions about God, okay? You know, I love God, you know, but... Just, just if you're I, but, hey, just no, if hey, hey, hey. I want to know. Hey, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, let me tell you this. Stop talking to me, sir. Have a nice day. <laughs> I thought I thought so. I thought so. I thought so. The man is gay for Ronaldo. His father's a Christian, and he's afraid to acknowledge the question because he knows what I'm saying is right. He's going against his conscience. He loves his fame and he loves the world more than he loves God. He loves the fame and he loves the money more than he loves God. And he'll be gay for another man. You've heard it from his own lips. I'm here to tell you today, unless you repent, you will perish and find your way in hell. Man, do you see, you know, uh, at the bottom corner there, how those fans are all over him? Man, that really tells you something about the world, you know? People may celebrate you even if you are making a wrong choice. Mm. Well, let's continue watching the video. All fornicators, all those who sell their soul for money, for fame, and living in sodomite, effeminate lifestyles will find themselves in hell. It doesn't matter how famous you are or not. When you sell your soul for fame and for a following, you're not going to have that in hell. It's going to fade away. This is why it's important to look at God and your soul and where you are with him. Jesus said, unless a man repents, he will perish. He will perish. What, I forgot that guy's name. What was his name? I show speed. He sped away very quickly when the truth of Jesus Christ was mentioned. Why couldn't he answer the question whether he was a Christian? Why was he so quick to acknowledge or rather affirm that he could be gay for another man? You see, this man makes provocative videos. They say for the attention, for whatever it is. His father's a Christian. And he knows what the question was, and he could not answer it. He had to run. Because the Bible says light comes into the world. Men 
loves darkness rather than light for fear that their deeds will be known. They would rather stay in the dark than into the light. We got to pray for I Show Speed and all the people. We got to pray because they're trading their soul. The Bible says, what will a man give in exchange for their soul? What will you give in exchange for your soul? A, a little crowd following you around, being gay for Ronaldo? You, will, will you sell your soul for a soccer icon, a football icon? You're going to sell your soul for that? You're going to sell your soul for a 20 little kids, teeny boppers running around? Hey, I'm around, I show speed. Is that what you're going to sell your soul for? You're going to sell your soul for a Mercedes Benz, a house? What will you sell your soul for? If you're a young person today and you're listening, you got to turn off I show speed and make yourself available and run with speed to Jesus Christ. You need to use speed to go to Jesus Christ. Run for your life. Because Jesus Christ is coming soon. And he's coming like a thief in the night. So whoever you are, young or old, rich or poor. What was that? I can't even hear you, bro. Come here, come here, come here. Sorry, 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 sorry. Speed to young kiddies made millions, you know. So who are you, who are you to, to say that's wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, nothing's wrong with making millions. It's just... What will, what will you make millions doing? Selling your soul to the devil or honoring God? You can trade your soul for millions. Absolutely. You can, you can trade your soul for a prostitute today. But, but, but where will you be if you were to die tomorrow? And, if, and do you even care? You say he sold his soul. He hasn't sold his soul. He's just a very funny guy who's done well for himself. So, you know, we'll leave it at that. Just well, why was it that when I asked him if he's a Christian, he couldn't answer? Why was that? Why did, when I asked him, is he gay? He said he would be gay for another man, a soccer player. Now, you can say it's all jokes and fun and games. But when you can't before the entire world testify whether Jesus is your Lord, that means he's not. If you can't praise God before the world, that means you're praising the devil before so the world. You're denying who the Bible says, if we confess him before men, he will confess us before the father. But if we deny him before men, he will be denied before the father. So I want to ask you, is Jesus Christ the Lord of your life? No. I'm not a Christian. No, uh, you don't have, I don't, I respect the Christianity. But okay. So you're denying Jesus Christ. So if you continue to deny Jesus Christ, you will be denied when you stand before him. And it's totally up to you. I want to let you know something, though. You're denying Jesus Christ because you don't understand the, your need for the Savior. I, I, I respect that everybody has a truth. Doesn't mean I respect what he's saying. I don't respect his beliefs. I don't. I don't think his beliefs are accurate or right. But I respect his choice. No, but it doesn't matter what you think. I don't care what you think. I wasn't even talking to you. I believe in God. No, I don't think. No, listen, if you don't respect what I think. That means you don't believe in God. The Bible says whoever has the Son has the Father. If you don't have the Son, you don't have God. So don't lie to yourself. You have a God that doesn't exist. Wow, what a video. <laughs> wow, what a video, man. You know, it's crazy that uh, speed there. I mean, he's straight up, you know. Uh, denied Jesus in front of everyone. Wow, you know, that's sad, you know? And, um, you know, what even worries me is maybe he did it because of, he wanted to please don, those fanboys, you know, who, whom he was with, or, you know, those who are following him. Man, it's, 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 it's just wrong, you know? I mean, Speed couldn't answer this simple question, you know. He couldn't answer this simple question. And uh, that tells us what he loves more. Well, actually, that tells us he loves the world more than he claims to love God. Because, I mean, he said, I love God, right? But the evidence, the evidence of his actions actually uh, spoke a different, uh, a different language. 
Ladies and gentlemen, remember Mark 8 verse 36. It reads, For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Those who deny me before men, I will deny them before my Father who is in heaven, said Jesus Christ. That's a serious statement. And it's not something any man, you know, should just take lightly. No. I mean, even that, you know, that guy whom uh, David Lynn, uh, by the way, David Lynn is the preacher there who was asking Speed, you know, whether he believes in Jesus. I mean, that, uh, you know, second gentleman whom he was talking to, you know, uh, you know, I feel like, I feel like, you know, what he was saying there, uh, you know, it's, 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 he was trying to, to drive it to the man, you know, the importance of the decision, you know, of salvation. Salvation. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, because that guy said, well, I should speak, he's just making millions, what's wrong with it? You know, he's entertaining, he's funny. Of course, he may be funny, but in the end, the most important decision, ladies and gentlemen, is where you choose to spend your eternity in. Come on, not, 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 nothing can can supersede that. That's the most important decision, you know. And I feel Speed even felt the conviction heavily. I mean, you could see it in his eyes, you know, his body language. You could see it. He felt the conviction very heavily. Right there. Yeah, you know. Yeah, and I even think this was like a divine appointment for the young man. Like, it's as if he needed this more than he ever will know. Can you imagine? He'd just been in the city to watch a football game. And guess what? He ends up meeting the preacher. Coincidentally like that? No, it had to be a divine appointment of some sort. And I even feel that the preacher even, you know, planted a seed, you know, in the young man's life, you know, because he had conviction all over his face. Yeah, he had conviction all over his face, but simply couldn't acknowledge it, probably because of the people who were around him. You know? Yeah. And one thing people that must always remember is that YouTubers will come and they will go. Celebrities will come and they will go. Politicians will come and they will go. Money will come and it will go. But God, ladies and gentlemen, God will always there. God will always there. You know, and He's unwavering, forgiving, and very loving. You know? It will be a sad thing that someday when Judgment Day comes, you know, um, things like this will be brought up against you. That you denied, to be denied me, you know, Jesus. And I don't mean this to, you know, being judgmental. I'm not trying to be judgmental in any way, shape or form, you know. No, 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 no. All I'm simply saying is we need to pray for the young man. Let's pray for speed, you know. Pray for him. Ladies and gentlemen, you can be rich and be born again and be very happy, you know, and fulfill your purpose in Christ. When we say follow Jesus, we are not saying be a dumb, you know, or you are all of a sudden all of a sudden going to lose everything. No, actually you will gain more. When you follow Jesus, you know, you will gain more. Life eternal. You know, remember he said, you know, follow me. You know, follow the kingdom of God and all these things will be added to you. All the prosperity, all the blessings, all these things will be given to you. So to follow Jesus is not a loss. That's what I'm saying. No, it's not. You know, I mean, we should never find ourselves in a situation where we have to deny Jesus or betray Jesus for fame or for any earthly reward. It's not worth it, folks. No, it's not. Mm -mm. It's not. Salvation is more important than anything. And it is my greatest desire, you know, that someday Speed will discover the truth and lead a better life for himself. Don't stop praying for him. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, tell me what you think in the comment section. I look forward to seeing you again next time. It's bye-bye for now.